So you are a new game developer and you want to create your indie game and you're also a total beginner with level design. I'm currently creating the first few levels of my game, Betty Bunny, a Barbie inspired horror indie game. And I want to use this devlog slash tutorial to explain the basics of level design before you get into 3D modeling, environment assets in Blender. Here is how to create enjoyable levels for your game and what to look out for while designing your game environment. We will go through uh, level planning, level structure, and at the end we will make a easy, simple level sketching exercise so you can start creating the best levels for your game. Uh, let's dive into it. Level planning. The first step to successful level design is of course planning. Before you even open up a game engine, you should begin sketching out the structure of your level and write down your must-haves. We will do an exercise later on that. A recurring level, for example, in my game will be the apartment of the main character, her sister and her mother. And a very, very important level in the first act will be a toy store. That's going out of business, inspired by Toys R Us from the early 2000s, around 2003. So I had to do my research and reference scouting on those environments. The sketch includes mapping out the major objects and features, as well as thinking about the level's flow for the player and how long does it take to reach the end of the level. Very important, you need to keep in mind important theme landmarks and highlights of your level. For example, for my toy store level, I should consider including, of course, colorful shelves, promotional cardboard cutout things, and of course, the layout of a huge toy store. Nothing is more frustrating than seeing an environment that's clearly with a certain theme and not containing obvious elements or having such elements in reach but not part of the level, like unwalkable ships in a harbor level or something. So planning needs to be treated like a first date. Stay focused on the topic, be aware of red flags and don't, don't order wings on the first date. Level structure. Level structuring is the part where you determine things like the starting position, the end goal and end position and how you will get there and stuff. Try to avoid being too repetitive because it will be very frustrating. Nothing should be a straight line. And the most difficult and important thing uh, that big AAA gaming companies very often like to forget but indies don't, reward exploration. Also quote me on this one, empty levels can still deliver a lot of exploration potential and mystery if there is stuff to be seen. Basically don't be a EA Ubisoft fetch quest empty open world bitch. Let's use those informations in practice. So time for our little exercise. So every level has a player start and an end goal. Let's for example work with that. This is our level and here's our end goal. Here's our player start. And currently the path from our player start to our end goal would be just straight to the end goal. And this as a level is totally boring. The goal of level design is to get more playtime and more length out of the path to the end goal. And there are basically two simple elements to do so. There are obstacles and there are sub goals. Let's talk about the most famous sub goal ever, a key. So currently the situation would be a straight line. We can't enter or activate our, our end goal because we need to reach the sub goal first. So let's get the key. And after that, we can get to our goal. So as you can see, we get way more out of our game environment. 
by setting up a sub goal. The next simple element would be obstacles. The most uh, usual kind of obstacle would be walls or doors or, you know, something locked up or enemies and uh, monsters that chase you. So we have here the door, which can only be opened if you get the key. And you, to get the key, you need to get also around some obstacles. So let's say the key is high up and we have here some pillars and maybe also some dungeon-esque walls. We have here a ladder. And we have also a monster. So now currently the way would be, um, okay, we the player will look around, he will see the monster, he will try to avoid or defeat the monster. At some point he will see the door. Okay, he can't get to the through the door. He needs some kind of key. He needs to avoid now the monster and find the key. Now he will, I don't know, run around. He will find the ladder. Oh, what's up there? He does a ladder. Oh, I can jump across, get the key, jump down again, avoid the monster again, go through the door get to the end goal. Now it's way more interesting. You get way more, we have the same canvas size and we get m way more playtime out of the same environment by setting up sub goals and obstacles. So now I want you basically to write down your must haves for your environment. Is the environment in a dungeon? Um, what kind of must haves do you need for your game level and come up with maybe must-haves that can also be um, obstacles or a sub-goal to reach the end goal of your level. And yeah, and after that, you mark down your starting point and your end point and try to sketch very simply out how the game will look like and how to get the length, the longest path out of it and the most playtime. Keep in mind, if you have, for example, 15 keys and 15 doors, that will be very re repetitive and can be very boring. So there need to be a bit of a balance. Perfect. So much about level design. Uh, if you have a different approach or ideas what to add to the, the level design process, uh, let me know in the comments below. Well, and the next step would be, after level designing, would be to create a block out level. Of course, you can also straight up get into blocking out your level, if you like. And well, uh, in the block out level, you basically play through the whole level and time yourself to see how much the playtime currently is. If it's too short or stuff, you can add things. And after that, you basically attack the visuals like 3D modeling, environment assets in Blender and so on. Well, I hope you get something out of this video. Please consider subscribing. I'm currently trying to get 10,000 subscribers. That's my big, 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 big goal for this year. Now watch one of those videos. <laughs> well, well. Beep -a -de -bop.